Hello and welcome to Scrinto, the playground for the mind. In this video, I'll introduce you to Scrinto's desk and show you how to customize yours. My desk is a personal board that you can organize as you wish. For example, people use it to organize work, manage tasks, and jot down ideas. So whether you were new to Scrinto or need a refresh, by the end of this video, you'll know where to find your desk, how to populate your desk with existing ideas, what are the different uses for your desk, and I'll also talk about my favorite use for my desk. To go to your desk, you can use a keyboard shortcut, Command Shift D on a Mac, or Control Shift D on Windows. Or you can go to the top of the sidebar and click on My Desk. From here, you can drag any item from the Recents list. Another option is double-click anywhere, use the forward slash common to, for example, insert a document from your library, or use the forward slash common to insert any of the blocks. For example, videos in progress. So, technically speaking, Scrinto's My Desk feature works pretty much like any other board, but there's more that it can do for you. If you take a look at your real desk now, you'll notice that you have many items that help you do your work. And that's exactly how I see Scrinto's My Desk. It's a place where you can organize the items that help you do your work. But these items are virtual items. For example, you can have a mood board, you can create shortcuts to other boards, and even a weekly planner. Whatever it is that you need close by to do your work, you can add to the desk. In my case, I like my desk to work as a dashboard, and this is what we started building here. But instead of videos here, let's use work in progress. So everything I'm working on, I keep in a column. The first one here, let's use, I don't know, the yellow color here. Move this a little bit to the side because there is another block that I also have here. The shortcuts. Let's use heading three, shortcuts. This is for items I'm constantly using every day. So let's say this one here, and I don't know, this one here. Then there are websites that I'm frequently going to. So sites. Let's make this blue. Then we have some tasks. So as you can see, I'm building that virtual desk. Let's make this red, right? The last item I like to have here, quick notes. This one I'm going to make wide. And this one, in reality, is a little bit farther to the right, because every time I have an idea, I can have, I can just write and Oh, well, I can have many ideas. Many ideas. Then if these ideas are connected, I can, at the end of the day or at some point, connect them and create a new document. Now let's say I'm working on this board here. I finish the work I had to do here. 
and I can go back to my desk and take a look at what's next, what are the items I'm working on today. Or let's say I'm working on this board here and I need those ideas. I can double click here, add a plus and look for my ideas. And here it is, that block that I created. So I have the document here and I can click here and take a look at that document. Now that you know how to build a desk, try building one on your own screen tone. And of course, have a lot of fun with all your boards. I hope this one was helpful and I see you in the next one.